everybody this is Janice B and welcome to my channel I hope all is good and wishing everybody a happy Christmas in this video I will share with you our experience um, during our travel to Philippines during this pandemic Again, disclaimer before I'll start, I didn't went home to Philippines for holiday. I went home because of our family emergency and we really need to be home because that's the only thing um, that we can do to be with our family during this time. And um, we were advised by the doctor to be with our family. And uh, But we're all good. We're trying to um, be together. And um, please pray for us that we will continue to be strong for each other and uh, as well as with you um, that if you have your if you still have your parents alive please be with them um, call them as much as you can and spend time with them because life is so fast and um, we really have to live life to the fullest and spending our time with our family be happy um, this day so it's not just you have your finances with your family but the most important thing is um, you spend time quality time together and um, you always show your love and your compassion to them so let's start so um, it was Sunday night when we re when I received a call from dial a flight again thank you so much dial a flight for helping us um, to go home to Philippines very smoothly and um, especially during your during the time na kailangan talaga namin ng um, makakatulong sa amin to go through and um, it was dial a flight so if you are in London um, the link is in the description box please do call them if you need your um, flight to the Philippines they will really help you because you have this experience with me na nangyari yun sa um, um, a search namin uh, to go home to Philippines so ang initial flight namin is from London to Hong Kong via Cathay Pacific and then get out of Hong Kong and then check in again our suitcases from Hong Kong to Manila with Philippine Airlines. Kasi yun po yung pinakamurang makukuha namin flight. As you know, it's very, very expensive to go home. So, we really look for ways how to make things more cheaper and more affordable. But then, and that Sunday night, um, parang merong nag-check sa akin kasi sabi ko, check ko pa kaya kung baka mag-RT-PCR kami or ano yung mga requirements para maka-go through kami sa process ng uh, in-transit to Hong Kong and then Hong Kong to Philippines. Thank God I did that because I've discovered na hindi pala yun pwede. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-get out of Hong Kong and transit through Hong Kong and then get another flight from Hong Kong to Philippines. Otherwise, magka-quarantine ka and you go to the protocols and get a molecular test from London to Hong Kong. So, you can only transit if it's from the same booking and it's from the same airlines and you will um, go through your second leg to Manila within a certain period of time. So, the call again ako sa dial a flight. I've left a message. I've emailed dial a flight. Thank God they've picked it up right away and they've canceled my flight from Hong Kong to Manila with Philippine Airlines. So, ang nangyari is they have to book us from London to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Manila with Cathay Pacific and it's from the same booking. It's from one booking only. Hindi po siya pwedeng magkahiwalay or hindi po siya pwedeng um, ipag, uh, paghiwalayin ang booking ng um, London to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Manila. It should be uh, in one reference only. So, yun ang ginawa ng Dyla Flight sa amin. Really, thank you because otherwise, uh, hihintayin pa namin yung refund namin from Philippine Airlines and then saka kami magbubuk ng Cathay Pacific. They've um, help me to go through that process and thank you so much Giles for helping me thank you so much and then um, nangyari is hindi na kami nag RT-PCR and then we have to book for our hotel 
So, with the hotel, we only booked for five days kasi yun yung advice namin dito sa London. But, because I have an unvaccinated kid with me, we have to go through the process of the same length of stay of my child kasi hindi naman siya namin pwedeng iwanan sa hotel mag-isa. Obviously, he's only three years old. So, we have to stay for the same length of time of unvaccinated child, which is eight days. Magsaswab kami on the seventh day. So, it was was a different um, advice dito sa London pagdating namin dun sa immigration. The first uh, first um, check pa lang sa One Health Pass namin nakalagay na dun is they've advised us to be on the 8th day, 7th day swap. So, again, please do check para hindi kayo magka problema the same as us na 5 days lang. Kasi chinek mismo ng Cathay Pacific before kami nila pinayaga mag-check in is chinek muna nila kung verified yung aming booking with the hotel. So, yun yung nangyari sa amin. Second is um, because it's only 55 minutes lang ang aming layover sa Hong Kong, kailangan mabilis yung kilos, lalo na may, kung may bata kayo, you really have to go through a very very fast transition from one um, gate to the next gate kasi maikli lang yung talagang binigay sa amin na layover which is also good but make sure na um, you have a lot of water and uh, um, hydrated kayo and then another problem na encounter namin doon is kasi nga naka, nag register kami sa Cathay Pacific kasi ang link doon is ECIF hindi pa dalab yung aming na book na all those nung nag nag register pala kami sa One Health Pass is na redirect kami for our swab sa padalab um RT PCR pero nung nag check in ako sa um sa Cathay Pacific na redirect ako sa ECIF the link will be in the description box and then na redirect ako sa Red Cross um and nakapagbayad kaagad kami sa Red Cross from here pala ang sa RT PCR namin. So, ang naging confusion ko doon is dun sa One Health Pass, naka-register kami sa Padalab. Dun sa ECIF, naka-register kami sa Red Cross. At bayad ko na yung Red Cross. Ayoko na magbayad ulit sa another RT-PCR doon sa uh, uh, Padalab. So, kinokontak kami ngayon ng Padalab noong nakarating na kami ng hotel kung um, kailan daw kami magsaswab at nasa hotel kami. So, sabi ko naka-register ako sa Red Cross tapos naka-register din ako sa Padalab. So, saan ako ngayon magsaswap? And then, what I've advised Padalab is, sabi ko, nakabayad na kasi ako sa Red Cross, so I go with Red Cross. So, wala namang problema doon. Red Cross contacted us. You don't have to contact Red Cross. The Red Cross will call you on the number that you have stated. Kasi pagdating mo sa hotel, magre-register ka na. Mag parang mag-check in ka dun sa Red Cross kung nasa ang hotel ka, anong room number nyo. At kung family naman kayo, better off na sabihin mo na kaagad sa isang email, hindi individual email, na kayo ay family at tatlo kayo or apat kayo na magsaswab doon sa the same room. Para hindi na magkaroon pa ng, ah, yung isa na swab na, yung isa hindi pa. So, better off you tell them in advance that you are a family and then, um, i- and kung pwede nyo pakausapan dahil nga may bata kayo na kung anong oras sila magsaswab. So, bibigyan naman kayo, tatawagan kayo nila when they're on their way, kapag nasa baba na sila ng hotel, at kung paakyat na sila. Para, ma para maging aware kayo or maging ready kayo na um, isaswab na kayo. And then, pagdating nyo sa hotel, uh, make sure that even if you have paid your room already, kasi uh, uh, required yun na uh, paid mo na yung room before ka dumating or before ka mag-check-in sa Katay Pacific, yun yung nangyari sa amin. And you have an extra money or you have a credit card on hand para um, kailangan nila yon for security deposit. Hindi naman nila just charge yun. It's just a security deposit kapag meron kayo kinain or any other charge um, it's a charge nila yon sa, um, registered credit card nyo, or if you have cash, they will, um, they are accommodating as well. So, um, 
Ang advice ko sa inyo is you better read the protocols of the country of destination. Um, you read the guidelines kung ano yung um, mga inclusive doon sa hotel. Kasi sa hotel na pinuntahan namin, it will be on the second episode, um, it's all in one. Ibig sabihin, kasama na yung aming food doon sa accommodation namin, which is really super good. I really advise that hotel. And also, um, kung... Uh, may mababasa man kayo na ibang reviews sa Red Cross it's because that's their experience um, based it, um, their reviews were based on their experiences so kung negative may yung feedback nila but with us it just took us 6 hours may result na po ang Red Cross so again I salute Red Cross because um, they've helped us um to see the tracking of where is your specimen already and it depends on the location of where you are siguro naging madali lang din yun kasi nga malapit lang yung Makati sa um, laboratory ng Red Cross so that's the reason why again um Again, if you have any other question, feel free to um, comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions. I'll be able to help. And again, wag kayong magatubile na tumawag sa Philippine Embassy if you have any other questions. Para naman matulungan kayo kung nasa London kayo or sa Northern Ireland kayo, basta nasa United Kingdom po kayo, wag po kayong magatubile na humingi ng tulong o humingi ng advice sa ating Immigration Bureau. And um, para po hindi nyo ma-experience ma yung na-experience namin na um, hindi uh, kami pinayagan na mag-fly with the different airlines and also para less hassle, less rin yung cost ng inyong travel and um, again given a chance kung magta-travel kami kung ano tatanungin nyo ako, magta-travel ba ako during this pandemic? My answer is no. Kasi hindi advisable for a kid, especially with uh, yung mga bata na makakasama mo sa hotel for 8 days. Hindi mo alam kung ano gagawin mo. Hindi mo alam kung paano mo ma-entertain yung mga bata. And most of all kasi syempre yung food, yung um, temperatura natin sa Pilipinas, ibang-iba. And um, kasi nanggaling kami sa malamig na bansa tapos dadating kami sobrang init. So transition of body and then jet lag and all this so um, but it's just because it's very important for me uh, to be home um, during that time so um, hindi ko ipag eh, hindi ako magdadalawang isip and uh, um, pag or pag-iisipan ko pa yung naging decision ko it was our best decision um, with our family so I hope that um you are all good and uh, please pray for us. I will be praying the same also. And also, I thank everyone who helped us to go through this process. And I will be sharing with you more in the next video. And again, thank you so much, My Carbon, for partnering with me in this video. I'll be sharing with you their product and the review of um, their air circulation fan, which uh, we really love so I hope you will check out um, in the description box as well um, the air circulation fan na ginagamit namin dito because of course in London uh, you don't really trust the weather in London so minsan mainit minsan malamig and it was so strange that it's going to be Christmas and minsan mainit pa rin so Again, um, keep safe everybody and I hope you've learned something from this video and thank you so much for watching. This is Janice B saying be brave, be you and just be true. Thank you for watching. Happy Christmas!